So I know I've been doing these talking head videos a lot lately, but AMD just announced Ryzen 8000 early, so I wanted to get it out to you as quickly as I could. But yeah, I'm going to be discussing that. GTA 6 won't be coming to PC at first, Nvidia's screwing gamers, and AMD just blew Nvidia out of the water. Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, if you aren't currently living under a rock, you likely know that Rockstar just announced GTA 6 with a new trailer. And let's just say it looks really impressive. I know that graphics really aren't everything, but let's just say this one kind of blew me out of the water. Either way, unfortunately, we have confirmation on some pretty terrible news. As you can see right here, it says GTA 6 will not be available for PC gamers at launch. You can see this is on their official website. It says that it's coming in 2025 to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. The reason this is pretty frustrating for a lot of people is the fact that, well, for one, we've been waiting a decade for Rockstar to announce the next Grand Theft Auto series. But if you look right here, GTA 5 was originally released September 2013 for the PS3 and Xbox 360 consoles. Then, it wasn't until a year later in 2014 that they ended up also releasing them on the newer PS4 and Xbox One. And it wasn't until 2015 that the game finally released on PC. So given the fact that they aren't going to be releasing it on PC at launch, it is pretty worrisome just because this is their precedent that they've set so far with GTA 5, but hopefully with GTA 6, it won't be like a year and a half after release that it finally comes to PC. But first, if you're looking for the best gift to give your favorite tech enthusiasts in your life, or if it's you, just show someone this video to give them the hint, because today I'm offering the gift of knowledge with this video's sponsor. Brilliant, the only place I trust to learn computer science. Simply put, Brilliant was actually made to teach the STEM field. But unlike other learning apps, Brilliant teaches you by getting you to do it yourself with fun and engaging puzzles. Whether it's learning about large language models that power modern AI, coding, or any number of other courses, Brilliant is the best place to do it. Plus, they're constantly adding new courses all the time, so there's always something new to learn. And today is the perfect day to join because Brilliant is offering my viewers a 30-day free trial when you visit Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt. Plus, when you sign up at Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt, you'll get 20% off their premium membership for life. Once again, that's Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt. And next up for today, I have a very annoying story. You can see it says Nvidia is preparing an RTX 3050 with six gigabytes of VRAM and the eight gigabyte model is set to be phased out. Now, this is annoying because of the reason that it's apparently happening. This originally comes from apparently a source that's close to Nvidia on the board channels forum where they kind of say, you can see it right down here, it says the eight gigabyte variant of the RTX 3050 appears to be impacting sales of the 4060 too much. And therefore, Nvidia has made the decision to discontinue the eight gigabyte model and instead release a new version with just six gigabytes. Ultimately, this means that because an older generation of GPU is impacting sales on their newer generation, Nvidia is just gonna mess with the older one and make it worse instead of, oh, I don't know, maybe making their newer generation cards better? No, that would be just too hard for NVIDIA. Let's just make the old stuff worse than it used to be, even though it's literally the older card. And of course, this will likely be confusing for those who are looking at a 3050, but if this does end up happening, make sure when you're looking at one of these cards that you're getting the eight gigabyte model instead of the six gigabyte one. Oh, and what happened to that whole, we don't want to make the 4080 confusing by having a 12 gigabyte and 16 gigabyte model. So we're unlaunching it. Yeah, that was a load of crap from day one. And next up, AMD officially had their new AI event today, and let's just say Nvidia should be worried. First up, they actually covered a ton of performance numbers on their MI300X. Now, if you've been following this channel, you've already seen the MI300X, you already mostly know about it, but a quick recap, it is effectively their all GPU instinct accelerator. You can see all of these right here are the same, and that's because it's nothing but GPU modules. And it makes for a total of 192 gigabytes of HBM3 memory and a whopping 153 billion transistors. Starting things off, as you can see, they really quickly, this was very early in the speech, 
they immediately start comparing it to NVIDIA's H100. Now, remember that their H100 accelerator is, at least right now, kind of NVIDIA's bread and butter. This is their main AI accelerator. And as you can see right here, AMD's MI300X actually beats it. Of course, this is uh, from AMD. This is direct first party results. We'd obviously want to wait for third party reviews. But in the meantime, it's really not bad. Obviously, memory capacity is massive, 2.4 times with 1.6 times the memory bandwidth. But when we get to actual performance, they claim FP8 teraflops is 1.3 times the H100 and FP16 is also 1.3 times. And when we look over here, you can see inference performance. This is good for artificial intelligence, neural networks, all that good stuff. You can see that with a single server of eight GPUs in Bloom, AMD's MI300X actually got a 1.6 times performance and in Llama 2, it got 1.5 four times so a pretty significant jump over the h100 then when we look over here this is ai kernel performance not massive difference 1.1 times 1.2 times so you know not a huge deal but this is really good for the market because currently nvidia pretty much doesn't have any competition right now. That's why they're able to charge this massive, unbelievable amount of money. It's why at one point they became a trillion dollar company, just wild stuff like that. So obviously competition is very important, just like it always is. But one of the things that has always held AMD back is their software. Simply put, NVIDIA's CUDA is the standard right now, but not only did they announce all of this, they introduced Rockham 6. So Maybe this could finally be the time that AMD can really come back and actually provide competition in the generative AI market. And lastly for today, we have the main story, the Coup de Gras, AMD's new Ryzen 8000 series APUs. Now, if you've been following the channel, we've actually known about these for a little while now, but we were expecting them to release at CES next year, which is only a month away, but still, this is pretty early. And of course, you really can't blame them just because AMD has pretty much always released their new APUs at CES. But there's a reason AMD announced them now. As you can see right here, these actually look very similar to the 7040 series. You can see this is Zen 4 and RDNA 3. So what's going on here? Well, that is why they announced it now, AI. But before I get to that, Really quickly, let's go over the specs. As you can see, AMD's releasing quite a few models here, but they're actually separated into three groups. Starting things off, we have the U series. This, as usual, is going to be your ultra low power parts, and these come with a TDP of 15 to 30 watts. Then we move up to the 40HS series right here. That is 20 to 30 watts. Then we actually have the 45 HS series, and these are 35 to 54 watts. When it comes to specs, as you can see, we're looking at from four cores and eight threads, all the way up to eight cores and 16 threads, with the 8945 HS being the flagship model. And as you can see here, it actually gets a max boost of 5.2 gigahertz. And if you know anything about the 7040 series, you know that these look very similar. And in fact, they both have the same integrated GPU with the Radeon 780M, at least that's for the flagship, then it goes down to the 760M and then 740M. But the main difference here is that AMD has upped the AI performance. As you can see right here from the 7040 series to the 8040 series, we're looking at up to 1.4 times the generative AI performance. Now I have to admit that that is a huge disappointment, but remember that the 7040 series was just released in January of this year, so this is way more of a refresh, obviously, than it is a full new generation of APUs. But don't get too upset because AMD also announced that their next-gen Strix point, which I'm assuming is their Ryzen 9000 APUs, is also coming in 2024. Now, the 8000 series of APUs are coming in Q1 of 2024, and this doesn't specify exactly when in 2024, so I'm assuming it's later next year. But still, Strix point should be the APUs with Zen 5, 
all that good stuff. So those should be way more powerful. And they actually already confirm that you can expect a three times generative AI MPU performance with Strix Point. So it's going to get even better Well, AI, but also all the other kind of performance we like should be getting even better from this likely later on next year. So yeah, that is pretty disappointing, but there actually is a silver lining. If you remember not too long ago, it was rumored that AMD was actually going to be releasing their desktop APUs as the 8000 series. At the time, that was pretty confusing given that it was still going to be based on their Phoenix architecture. But given these 8040 CPUs are basically just a refresh of that, I'd pretty much say that this sort of confirms it. And it doesn't just confirm you know, the naming scheme that obviously isn't all that important, but given the fact that they knew something about the naming scheme, it's pretty clear that they also know something about the specs and just the fact that it's almost certainly going to be releasing and soon. Finally, new desktop APUs. So while that does it for today, let me know what you think about AMD's new 8040 APUs. Are they a massive disappointment or is it okay just because they're likely going to release new ones next year? Anyway, this is just a refresh specifically for AI. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermeld. And as always, have a great day.